Hey, I'm Liv, and welcome to Swatches on Scars, a series in which I swatch eyeshadow on my scars. Today we're going to be swatching the Snow Angel Collection from Luxy Beauty, so let's get on with it. So I also brought up my entire Luxie Beauty collection because I see some similar shades here and I'm curious how similar they are to other stuff. Unfortunately, I have quite a lot of Luxie Beauty stuff. A lot of it's also combined in these four palettes and then I dropped one of them. So I smashed two shades. I'm very sad. I've repressed them, but that's a kicker about Luxie Beauty stuff is that their shadows are extremely soft. One of their shadows is in my ultimate travel kit. So it's a little dodgy and like there are little flakes of it that flows around sometimes you cannot drop your palettes and I drop mine a lot I do I'm not a gentle careful person unfortunately anyways I literally just got this collection yesterday it arrived I'm wearing every single color on my eyes today there are seven shades and I managed to get every single color on I will show you this is what they look like they're very beautiful it's not necessarily what I would have thought when I read the title snow angel but there's definitely a shift in some of them perhaps you can see they're they're very beautiful and perhaps you can see in the reflection there I can't tell the shift is not extreme but they did surprise me let's show you up close so like I said I'm wearing every color on my eyes and I'm actually wearing them in the order that they are placed in the palette so from the inside of my eye to the outside of my eye it went in this direction except for the lightest shade which is on the inner corner of my eye so this direction then the pink one the sort of orangey red one and this white one on the inner corner hopefully that makes sense let's see if you can see that i suddenly feel like the shift is noticeable in some of them. Some of them stood out more than I thought they would. I really quite like the effect actually. It's like a very subtle sort of rainbow. I don't feel like you can tell that there are seven shades on my eyes. I did brown in my transition area, a light brown and a deeper brown, just so that we'd have sort of a neutral base to work with. If you're interested, the shade that I like the performance of the most is this shade on the inside here, that sort of second shadow there, which is chili. For a side note here, I literally just opened these yesterday and this is what the back of chili looks like, which is a teensy bit disconcerting, but anyways. Okay, let's zoom back out and get to swatching. Okay, so I've decided that swatches on scars are going to be on my hand from now on. We're going to start off by swatching all of these and then we are going to see some comparisons to existing shades that they already have in the Luxie catalog. The first shade that we're going to swatch is Peppermint. This is sort of a light ice blue looks like to me. There's a slight shift, but I can't entirely tell what it is. It's almost opalescent. Luxie Beauty shimmers seem to come in two different forms. There are the glitter packed larger mica particle ones that are very chunky and very, very fragile. And then there are sort of the tightly packed shimmers that still have a great deal of sparkle to them, but they're not as fragile. They are more tightly pressed and not as complex on the eye though, but let's see what this looks like. All right. I'm gonna swatch that. I'm actually gonna swatch it over here so we can make sure to fit everything. Right over there. Very, quite an opaque sheen really for such a light and transparent sort of shadow. And looking at it now, it is a blue to gold shift. That is really interesting, blue to gold. The next shade that we have is Chili, and this is very beautiful. If you know the Luxie catalog, this might seem like a similar or familiar shade for you. For me, it certainly looks like it, but I do think it performs remarkably on the eye. This is, I think, the one that I love the most. We will see what we have that is similar, because I certainly have many that look like this. But this is like a blue blue lavender like a grayish lavender sort of sheen it's very interesting this is an especially interesting sort of formula because it seems like a mix between that more tightly pressed and the more heavy glitter particles so or perhaps it's more that it's opalescent but it's it's got a lot of punch in it is what it looks like so we'll put that right underneath peppermint right over here can you see that definitely a lot of punch in it right i mean that is not shy at all it's standing out so much more it's absolutely gorgeous you see that sort of crisp purple and bright blue sheen very gorgeous very gorgeous and 
not a wall flower. My finger is still sparkly. The next shade that we have is called Winter Moon. And this one, it almost looks like a more blue version of peppermint. Like next to this peppermint actually does look a little greeny blue. And this looks like a pure blue with nothing else in it. Yeah, it oddly seems to have a little bit of a sheen, like a, a deeper blue. It's like the sheen or duo duochromeness is light blue to deep blue, which is weird. And this is certainly one of the more tightly pressed shimmers. I will put that underneath the chili right over here. And wow, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is really beautiful. Gosh, look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous compilation? Look at my finger, can you see that? That is phenomenal. That must be the shade that I really like. Yeah, I would, I would certainly say so. The shade that's sort of right here in the middle of my eye, that is, that, that's sort of a hidden gem right there because it does not at all look that complex. I'm sort of just swiping on here because there's so much on my finger, but it does not at all look that complex and it really is. It's beautiful. There's definitely some more mica particle in there and that sheen, that opalescent sheen is gorgeous. Do you see what I mean? How it shifts from light blue to dark blue? Pretty cool, right? All right, our next shade is called Sugar Plum and it is actually sort of a plummy shade, which is nice and appropriate. I don't see much sheen. It kind of reminds me of Painted Lady from their last release. So let's see. It's definitely a warm purple, a plummy. This is that sort of tightly pressed shimmer formula. And we will place this right underneath right over here. Let's see how that performs. Wow. Oh, my hand looks amazing. I love this. This is sort of something that I enjoy about swatches on scars is that this is a very unusual surface to swatch on. And I find it interesting to see what formulas allow the scars to show through. Like you can see that this shadow right here, the scars are showing through quite significantly. But both of these two, the last two, Winter Moon and Sugar Plum are, are covering very very well. And yep, look at my finger. Those are really fantastic formulas. My finger is molten and it's not the same kind of glistening, thick, chunky formula of give me glow, but it's equally opaque really in, in a lighter way. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. Well done, Lexi. And the nice thing about these more tightly pressed shadows is that I'm not scared of them breaking. You know, uh, I'm very afraid of the ones with the mica breaking, obviously, because, well, I'll show you. It's very sad to look at. All right, in continuing in the same order that they are on my eyes, we have Lollipop. Let me just show you the back of Lollipop. Kind of disturbing once again. I mean, so here's the deal. I did order these on Black Friday and it took, uh, what is that, five weeks to get here, which is understandable, although Luxie is much faster normally and they did not give notification of extended times, I don't believe. And I did get shipment information quite a while back. So it could have been UPS or USPS as well. But the fact that these are all scraped on the bottom makes me think that they were lying around for a while. I don't know. Either way, no question, all small businesses as well as the postal service were just swamped this year. All right, so we have Lollipop. I feel like this is almost wanting to be handy cane. Like that's what I think when I see the Lollipop. This reminds me of Winter Moon in the sense that it's a light pink to deeper pink sheen, but very straight, pure pink. And God, Gosh, it's yummy looking. I have a couple pink shadows. I have one from Give Me Glow and just, I don't love them on my complexion. So it would be cool to get some use out of this one and see if I can make it work. And we'll put this right over here. Ooh, I have, I do have a shade from Divina. It's like their Exploder or something. Mm, candy something, I'm not sure. But it's a pink shadow and this makes me think of that. Can you see how very translucent that is? There you can see the pink sheen. It's like a, it's a pink to almost baby pink and yellow. Interesting. There's, yeah, there's the slightest yellow gold hint at the bottom there, but interesting. This is probably the thinnest shadow in the collection so far. As per usual with Lixi, the majority of this stuff has some kind of other sheen, which I really like. So this shadow feels very familiar. This is called Gingerbread and 
I can just say that it's a sort of warm reddish brown with a cool tone flip. As you can see, it's sort of a brown to bright blue, which is a very popular look. Actually, this is it's almost plummy, plummy or tangerine. Ooh, and this one is quite a bit thicker. This looks like one of the ones that's gonna shatter potentially. See on my finger, I will put this underneath the pink shade, uh, which I can barely even see. If I go like that, I can see that there. And oh my goodness, do you see what I mean? I mean, do you see that? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. It's so pretty, it hurts. Oh my goodness. Let's look at my finger. Oh, please. Just so you see that brownie blue sheen, that sort of very common flip brown to blue. But the way that these are made, I mean, that's extremely bright, I, almost blinding. It's that's fantastic. Oh, even further back, that looks excellent. It looks certainly looks like more of a peach to cool tone shift. Unique, lovely, like it a lot. And then our final shade of the collection is Snow Angel. I mean, I have no idea what this is, just looking at it. On my eye, it shows up as a light golden white, uh, which is very cool. It's very cool. It's one of those really hard press. It almost feels like pure snow. And looking at it in the pan, there's an interesting cool tone shift. So perhaps if I show you my finger, you can see the gold there, but there's a bit of a cool tone to it as well. And if we pop this right under here, oh, wow, that looks extremely muted, but I imagine this will show up when I move my hand. Interesting. It's very muted, but you can see that the shift is pretty hardcore on those final two swatches that I did. The white to gold, it almost disappears into my skin color and, and then shows up as a gold. I'm still blinded by that gingerbread. My goodness. Wow. Wow, wow. My goodness. Okay, wow, we have some serious similarities here. For the first one, let's do peppermint. So we'll go in order. We have peppermint. Actually, let me hold them up next to each other. Over here we have peppermint, and here we have limelight. As you can see, limelight is much lighter, but there's still a sheen to it. They both sort of have a similar sheen in a way. Peppermint is more blue, and limelight is a beautiful bright green highlight that I use often. I will put limelight over here, and then we will swatch peppermint underneath it. Put peppermint over here. Interesting, isn't that interesting? They look really similar. Gosh, they look really similar. You can't even tell how much lighter limelight is just because it's light in the pan. It looks very similar on the skin. As I mentioned, we have limelight here and peppermint over here. Limelight, I'm not gonna say left or right. I can't figure that out. <laughs> very interesting, very similar shifts everything really quite similar. And let's see if it looks different to you from a little further away. It does for me, they look a little warmer toned, but still extremely similar. Okay, the next shade that we have is the one that has kind of the most dupes going on. And some of them are, well, let's just, let's just do this. So I'm not sure if I can hold this all up, but we have chili. And then we have screwball, which certainly looks a bit more blue right now. And then we also have frostbite. Screwball and frostbite were from their last year's releases. Gosh, these look similar. Chili and frostbite, don't they? But there is definitely something about screwball that still looks similar. Screwball is in the middle right now. I can barely hold these, so I'm gonna stop doing this. But we are going to swatch them all. We'll start with chili this time, actually. That makes sense. And we're going to put chili on the top over here. And then we'll take We'll take frostbite because that looked the most similar and swatch that right underneath chili right over here. Ooh, gosh. Ooh, that's beautiful. I actually loved the collection last year so, so much. I almost said snow much. I loved it so much that I got duplicates of a couple of the shades. This is really interesting. I'm seeing a lot of similarities and I know the difference. Well, I'll just tell you now. So Chili has a pinky purple hint with a little bit more mica flex and Frostbite has a bit more of an opalescent light blue. So there's a difference. 
but they're very, very similar. I'm not sure if that's showing up, but we'll do Appy Closey in a moment. Next, let's pop Screwball right at the bottom. And Screwball, I actually have, I have two of. Ooh, gosh, I swatched that quite a bit. I love this shadow so much. I think you'll see why in a second. What even? I mean, look at that. Are you blinded? It's not one of their fragile ones, but it is uh, blinding, blinding nonetheless. <gasps> Screwball, Screwball might be the match. So the interesting thing about Screwball that you will see, let's get all up closey, is that it has a pink shift, which is very similar. But my goodness, I think you can see that Chili has those mica particles that are not present in Screwball or Frostbite, but it's actually almost like the tones of Screwball, but the colors of frostbite, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but then they added some mica particles and then you have chili. Interesting, isn't it? Like, I don't feel bad that I have all three of these at all. I mean, granted, I'll probably break one at some point because they're so fragile, uh, but it's interesting how just a little hit of a different sheen can make something so different. The next shade that we have is Winter Moon, and this one is a lot more unique. So the one thing that stood out for me, if you hear that crow, I'm so sorry. <laughs> not much I can do about it. The one thing that stood out for me was this very sadly broken shadow. I thought that I had an extra one of this, but I'm not sure. This is Snow Cone from their last year collection. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's a similar sort of look, but Snow Cone is definitely more of those fragile mica particles and that one shattered by itself. It was very sad. It just exploded one day. Uh, I'm going to swatch that one first and pop it underneath over here. Can you see that? I mean, it's just a ridiculous shadow. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, my swatch was a little all over the place. It's very complex and very beautiful. And then we can take Winter Moon, which doesn't have quite the same level of mica particles, but it has a similar feel to me, as you can see over here. Very similar feel, that heavy, sort of more opaque, but ridiculous sheen, right? I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous shadows. So Snow Cone definitely has a more unique hit of mica. It's, it's sort of a pinky blue. And then Winter Moon has that odd cool tone blue hit. They both have a good amount of mica chunks and Winter Moon's chunks look to be sort of yellowy gold. And Snow Cone's are pinky opalescent. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I do think Winter Moon is unique so far from what I've seen. It has a very unique hit and it looks more complex swatched than it is in the pan and more complex on my eyes as well. Hopefully you can see that still. It's been a good few hours. Okay, okay. Next we have Sugar Plum. This is very unique, I think. But then we have, I think it was the Ice Cream Social 2, Ube, Ube, whatever. If you see that sheen from the side there, right there, they look very similar, don't they? Ube definitely has that cool flip to it that Sugar Plum is missing, but ooh, don't fall. Interesting. There's most definitely a point where they look very similar. So let's swatch Sugar Plum and pop it on top over here. Gosh, my arm's getting, our hand is getting tired of this. <laughs> Beautiful, gorgeous sheen, very interesting. And then let's take Ube. This is one of my favorite sort of undercover shadows. It has a lot of flip to it. It looks different in every light and at every angle. As you can see, just from me swatching this, I mean, I feel like I could have grabbed some more, but maybe my hand's just getting a bit done. Can you see that just bright pop of color? It's, it's really gorgeous. You can tell that Luxy has a vibe. It definitely has a vibe and a, a style for their shadows. There's a gorgeous flip there. I don't know, Sugar Plum doesn't look as unique over here. I have to be honest though, um, what I do have is a Divina shadow with me here. It's Kazookles is the color and I just want to compare it. I mean, okay. <laughs> Kazookles and Sugar Plum. I mean, look at that. That's, I think we have our kicker here, our, our match, our dupe. One is a titch darker and maybe a little more cool tone, but they're very, very similar. We have Sugar Plum over here and Kazookles over here. So uh, the cool thing about Kazookles is the amount of sort of uh, glitter particle and sheen to this, uh, but quite fun to see. What a very similar formula. So here we have Sugar Plum and I will put Kazookles on my knuckles right next to it so we can just see exactly how they look. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you guys get together and make that? I mean, I think we can see the Kazookles has just the tiniest bit more pink, but that is very, very similar, isn't it? Very similar. My goodness. I, I have to be honest that Kazookles wins for me though, because it's just a bit more glittery. But if you are wanting any of the Divina shadows, uh, their sparkly sort of stuff, it seems pretty similar with Luxie, to be honest. That was really interesting. Okay, our next shade is Lollipop. This is our sort of bright pink with a, a sort of a tangerine -y flip almost. And the shadow that I find to be a dupe for it is Bubblegum. I think this was once again Ice Cream Social 2 or 1, I'm not sure. I mean, my goodness, don't they look identical? Bubblegum has a tiny bit more mica, but I mean, let's find out. So we have Lollipop over here. It doesn't look, definitely doesn't look as mica laden as the other one. Oh my gosh, my knuckles are having a hard time with this already. The problem with swatches on scars, huh? So we can see that that's just a very light pink sheen. I, I wanna swatch it a little more so that we can have enough of a comparison. Yeah, it's like very light pink sheen. If you're looking for a baby pink sheen, that's lollipop. And then bubble gum is very interesting. As I said before, I'm not the hugest fan of pink. I have a hard time with my skin tone, I don't know. But bubble gum, I sometimes use, let's see where I can put this, in my inner corner or on top of stuff because it has such a cool tone flip as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, well, I don't know now. I don't know. Now they look identical now that I'm looking at this. Yeah, I thought bubblegum was way more cool tone, but they both look like very similar with lollipop just being lighter. Like bubblegum is the deeper version of Lollipop. Those look really similar to me, don't they to you? I mean, really, really similar. Once again, their eyeshadows are very affordable. I love a lot of the colors. They're very transformative, so you can put them over things, put them over other shimmers, uh, or even over other mattes, and they look fantastic. Okay, let's keep going. What we have is Gingerbread. And then this was not one of their collections, I don't think, or if it was, maybe it was the Butterfly collection, but this is hybrid. I think that it was their normal. So gingerbread and then hybrid and hybrid was just recently a casualty of getting dropped. As you can see, it's sort of been repressed a little bit. I don't think, I don't think that's enough of, that's not similar enough. So let's look at something else. Other options are Flutter. That looks very similar. And that was from the Butterfly Collection. And then we also have Skyflower that I think was also Butterfly Collection. I think those look much more similar. So let's try swatch those. First things first, Gingerbread. And we will pop that on top over here, right there. Then we'll grab some Skyflower. Oh, that feels lovely and soft and pearlescent. And we're gonna put Sky Flower right next to it. Ooh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gingerbread has more mica than Sky Flower, but that looks really similar. And then our next is Flutter. And this is looking less similar already. And we'll put that underneath Sky Flower over here. I mean, there's a vibe going on here and they all have it. I would certainly say that Sky Flower and Flutter seem more similar than anything. Gingerbread, because of that heavy mica is just pretty gorgeous on its own. That's really lovely. So not as much of a dupe with gingerbread, but Skyflower and Flutter. Okay, so finally we have Snow Angel, which is this bright white golden hit. If I'm thinking of tones, then Nectar from the Butterfly Collection is like the grown-up version. Um, perhaps you can see Nectar has more of that punch of, of gorgeous golden hit, and Snow Angel looks like bright white, but it isn't. But then if we're coming to a sort of a formula, then we have Walk of Shame, which is part of their regular collection, I believe. And it's almost like the cool tone version. I, I mean, not almost, it, it just is, at least in the pan. Let's see what it looks like. If I put Walk of Shame over here, we have this bright cool tone shadow. And then if we put Snow Angel just above it, right over here, we have a golden, bright shadow. Can you see that? They feel very, very similar to me. Although Snow Angel's certainly lighter and brighter. Let's try a little bit more Walk of Shame and pop that under there. No, okay. Walk of Shame certainly feels like that familiar blue, lavender, blue, purple, but these are definitely different. Definitely different. Similar, similar feel though, if you see what I mean. So it certainly seems like Snow Angel is very unique and Winter Moon is very unique. 
Uh, that's interesting. But there are a couple solid dupes. I mean, very interesting. Okay, well, that was fun. And that is all. I know everyone else has had their videos out from this for a while. Hopefully this gave you some more information on how these perform, how they look. As per usual, I think Luxie Beauty is extremely affordable if you want something unique and different. Some really gorgeous formulas. It's hard to go wrong. They're just very fragile sometimes. If you like this video, found it fun, interesting, informative, whatever, I hope you hit subscribe down below. Let me know what you think and give us a like or dislike, whichever corresponds with how you feel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you and thanks for hanging out.